It's a beautiful morning in Accra, in early September of 2013. Employees from five different local governments in Ghana are gathering for a kickoff meeting on a project on sanitation and waste management. Sanitation in Ghana has major problems. We may not want to admit it, but there are serious problems with sanitation. In 2012, the World Bank estimated that Ghana lost 290 million US dollars due to poor sanitation, one of the UN's Millennium Development Goals, and at the same time the goal that is the least likely to be achieved. Ghana's deputy minister has a clear message for the employees of the five MMDAs that are present at the high-level meeting. There must be a change in where you are. Because most people have been, they've been coordinating directors for a thousand years and you can't see anything. It's all about taking the salary at the end of the month. If they've been able to achieve it, why can't we do it? We are the same people, we have the capacity to do the same thing. With the aid of the Dutch Ministry of Foreign Affairs, in 2012, Dutch organization VNG International set up a project to tackle the problem of sanitation and waste management. As part of a larger program called LGCP, the Local Government Capacity Program, it aims to build the capacity of local governments. The participating five MMDAs will embark on two processes, a benchmark and an on-the-job training program. The benchmark follows four basic steps. Collecting data, comparing those data, learning from each other's good practices and implementing those practices. Together, the four phases help a municipality improve their standard of service. A good example of a project that can serve as a good practice for others is the clear water project in Kumasi where portable toilets provide a solution to families that up till now had to rely on the use of public toilets. This is the clean team toilet and uh, inside this toilet is a cartridge, a container that contains a, a chemical and this chemical controls smell for about three to four days. Twice a week a waste collector will come into your house with a, a, a fresh cartridge containing fresh chemical, and then comes to change it. The other major part of the LGCP project is on-the-job training. In Twifo, for instance, the municipality hopes to profit from the assistance through the LGCP program. You saw that people are dumping at an unauthorized place. Those market sellers, they do sell the markets, and in the night when they are going, it just feel of dumping refuse just anyhow. That's why the drain is choked. Twifo has high hopes that they can improve on the quality of their waste management by learning from how Kumasi is managing its waste and its landfills. We learned a lot about the way refuse are being generated over there and the way they transport the refuse to the final disposal site. After three days of workshops, Augustina is optimistic. There's so much room for improvement. We must decide to look for money, make conscious efforts to look for money elsewhere to put into sanitation. So th that's really my expectation that there will not just be workshop talk this time around, but we'll see concrete measures, we'll put in concrete measures to improve some of the things we had. Because they're not performing too badly, but can do better.